Paint is a DIY staple, and if you know what you're doing, the only limit is your imagination. But there are different types of paints for different types of things, so before you go spending all your money on the wrong thing and possibly wreck your project, here are the things I recommend doing for a successful DIY project. In this case, let's say I wanted to paint the upper part of a sneaker, and it's made from both synthetic and real leather. Research what products will work best on your material. According to my research, leather paint would work best, but a lot of those are just acrylics with an additive to make it adhere better. And I know that my local art store sells a product that can be added to my acrylic paint to make it work the same way. When you get to the store, check out the warning labels and make sure you know the specific hazards that come with the product, as well as any additional safety measures you might need to take. Plan your workspace. Maybe you need a well-ventilated space and that means you have to work outside. Maybe you will also need a respirator. Prep and paint. Prepare your surface, mix your paints, and get to work. Seal and enjoy. Sealants or varnishes may help extend the life of your DIY project. I always recommend sealing your work, especially if it's a wearable. Just make sure you get the right product. This has been another episode of DIY Without Dying. <laughs>